Hi everyone, my name is Costa, and today I'm gonna show you how to create an overlapping image like this one. And as you can see, it's responsive and it's even overlapping on mobile as well. So without further ado, let's get started. So I got a hero section and inside it I have some content and a background that uses position absolute and for its size I'm using relative 100%. So next I'm gonna create a new frame Press Ctrl X, paste it inside the hero section and right now it's invisible. That is because the background has a z-index of 1 and the frame has a z-index of 0. So first I'm gonna move it on top of the background like this, name it image wrapper and then go to styles, z-index and I will type in 2. Okay, now I will change the width from fixed to fill and the height to fill as well. I will create a new frame, press Ctrl X, paste it inside the wrapper, select the image wrapper, click on layout, remove the fill and now select the frame inside and call it image. Go to fill, image, plugins and Lumi plugin. Now I will select uh, this image right here and I will change the width to fill and the height is gonna be fixed but I will increase it something like this. Select the image wrapper and then align the image inside to the top like this. Now go to overflow and click on visible. Select the hero section make sure that the distribute is spaced between right now the image got slightly bigger but we can select the image wrapper go to max width and let's add a max width of 600 or maybe uh, 400 pixels all right now i'm gonna select the hero section go to overflow and click on visible and voila, now we have a beautiful overlapping image. However, on mobile and tablet looks slightly different, so let's fix that. So I will select the image wrapper inside the tablet. And let's add a height of 500 pixels maybe. And I will delete the max width in this case, so that it's centered now. And uh, yeah, that is it, I guess. Next, I will go to mobile, select the image wrapper, delete the max width and let's switch the height from fill to fixed and increase it like this. We can even decrease the image height inside the wrapper and let's check it out now. Now it's completely responsive. So this is it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.